Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Custom Robo. Where we left off was after this test and we need to get the feather legs. And here are the feather legs in their glory. Let's talk to Harry. Cool, so I'll give you a call tonight? Ah, uh, Jay, you done? So, did you pass? Of course. Look at that wink. Yeah, I figured you wouldn't have any trouble on such a basic test. Let's head back to the office. Alright. I'll see you later, Trish. Fool's got no chance. Okay, let's go back to the office. Ernest. How did it go? Don't tell me you failed. It's okay, I was with him. He passed. Thanks to my training. Whew. Now Jake is a true bounty hunter. Harry, take Jake home. What? Why do I gotta be this guy's babysitter? I've got some business to take care of. I wanna leave right now. If you two are gonna be partners, you gotta spend some quality time together. Chat on the way home. Get to know one another. Partners? Why can't Marsha be his partner? Marsha can handle herself. Bang! And you're the one who told me to hire Jake in the first place! Why? Why does everything bad always happen to me? I don't know, Harry. You're just that guy. Okay, now we take the easy walk home. Talking about our personal lives and stuff. Hmm, your dad, huh? And that's why you want to work? Well, everyone's got a reason. Anyway, as of today, you're a full-fledged bounty hunter. Do your best. See ya. A really close attention. Okay, gotta get back home and call Trish. Oops. Look what he did. Jay, get up! Hurry up and go to work! It's nice to have Lucy as an alarm clock, you know. Zip, zop, zoobity bop. Okay. What do you call this? I, I don't know! Why, when? being awfully loud this morning. That's true. Lucy. Walt and Carmen are being awfully loud this morning. That's what I just said. Now I wonder what's going on. Don't get any ideas or you'll be late. Just hurry and go to work. Okay. If you try to go in there right now, it's like, no. So don't do that. Just go to work. Good morning. Depressed, Harry. I know you just got here, Jake, but I need you to go back to your apartment. Huh? There's a married couple fighting over at your apartment building, and they're using robos. We got a call from the landlady. She said it's out of her control. She requested you, specifically. I had thought so. Hey, Harry, go with him. Let him fight. It sounds like a crummy job. Jake can handle it by himself. I'm totally bummed today. I had my chance yesterday and I blew it. Boom! Stop complaining and go! Yeah, yeah, okay, I'll go. Oh, Trish, where did I put that note with your number on it? And he hangs his head in sorrow. <laughs> and he walks the whole way. Sigh. Harry? Sigh. Just looks so sad. Ah, thanks for coming back, Jake. When did you call Ernest? Right after you left, it's so awful. Oh, who's this? Mm, oh, him. That's Harry. Oh, really? Is he a stolen horse, too? Oh, he's quite a hunk of man. Give me his number, will you? <laughs> That's sweet of you. 
Can we talk about the job here? What's going on? Oh, right, right. Walton and his wife are fighting again, and it's gotten crazy. They're using their robots to fight, and their children are crying. I tried to stop them, but I don't know a thing about robots. You know that. I didn't have a clue how to stop them. And that's why I called Stolen Horse. I also wanted to see what you're like when you're at work. So, thanks? Maybe? Jay, let's cut the chat and go stop them. Yeah, you're right. Good luck. Okay. About to see some crazed relationship problems in a sec. Man, this is bad. Let's wrap this up quickly. I'll stop the husband. You go handle his wife. I've turned the safety switch on so that nobody gets hurt. What's a safety switch? It's a switch that decreases your robo's power. It's to prevent you from hurting your opponent. The switch is on the robo cube. If you turn the safety switch on and dive, the safety mechanism will automatically kick in. It won't look any different, though. Okay, I'll turn on the safety switch. Then let's do it. Let's get over the quick. Okay. Let's talk to little children here. Little Jimmy. Ah, stop fighting! Little Bobby Sue. Ah, let's get along! Hippie kids. Ugh. What, you're taking his side? Don't mess with me. I'll beat you to a pulp with my metal ape. It's a metal grappler. Metal grappler? The metal grappler has extremely high defense. It's hard for it to get knocked down, but since it's move slow, I have a hard time dodging attacks. I can only do one air dash. I usually focus on attacking rather than worrying about a little damage. Got it? Uh... Why are you telling me this? What? You don't like the way I explained my very strategy? Every strategy, sorry. Well, I'll just go over it again till you do like it, got it? Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Got it? Yeah, we got it. Sorry I asked. Huh? Why am I explaining all this to you? That's a really good question. It's not like I just asked that or anything, no. Okay, let's put on these feather legs so I can show you what they do. I kind of forget what they do. Decreases jump speed. Makes you less vulnerable to attack after jumping. So that's, that's good, I guess. Even though it decreases jump speed. The metal ape. Let's get this show on the road. On in these family struggles, you know. For little Jimmy and little Bobby Sue, mainly. Oh no. I think it's tough, I forget. Oh, lava. Lava in the middle. Lava in the middle. Ah, rail, rail one over here is just too fast for a big metal ape. Oh no. See that dash? That was its dash. It's kind of crazy. Might be slow, but effective. But my dash is fast and effective, so take that. Oh. Look at that. Killed by lava. Yep. The vertical gun. Pretty sure that's a pretty cool gun. And she's on the ground. Ow, 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 ow. That burns me up. That was a waste of time. Let's head back to the office. Ow, ow, ow. Are you hurt, dear? Who hurt you? That, that crudely dressed punk over there. What are you talking about? You're hurt because you got into a stupid fight with your wife. I love the arrow. Only calmed you down. How dare you hurt my hubby? Get up, dear. We'll defeat these evil villains and show them that our love is strong. That's right. I love you. Shut up, Walt. I love you too. Oh, this is completely disgusting. Whoa there, well, wait a minute. Why does this have to happen to me? I'm just some guy. Hey, Jake, come here. We ain't gonna let them beat me up. Okay. You've never had a two-on-two -on -two battle before, have you? It's when two people team up on two others. What are you doing? Sorry, just wait a minute, okay? Hey, Jake, listen carefully. I'll explain two-on-two -two battles to you. 
The basic controls are the same as one-on-one -on -one battles, but there's one difference. They are on top of your robo's head locks on one of your opponents. <clears throat> if you want to change your target, press the Y button. Remember, press the Y button to change your target. Got it? Oh, and your your robo will still launch from the red robo cannon. I'll shoot from the blue robo cannon. Our opponents launch from the green and yellow robo cannons. The colors of the robo cannons indicate the colors of the robos battling in the match. For example, you're red and I'm blue, and our opponents are green and yellow. Every time you press the Y button, the colored arrow above you, you changes to either green or yellow. But not blue? I told you, I'm blue. What good does it do you to shoot your own partner? I don't know, that's a good question. Watch out, though. You can't fire your gun while you're charging, changing targets. Are you done yet? Sorry, there's just a little bit more. Your opponents have colored arrows over their heads, too. When these arrows turn red, that means they're locked on to you. Got it? Yeah, I got it. Now listen. Look carefully at the colored arrows and see who's locked on to whom. Keep that in mind while you fight, okay? Sure, sure. I love two-on-two -two battles. There's our opponents, plural. Uh, let's use the... I think I'm gonna go back to the long thrust legs. And I'll go back to... I mean, go to the new vertical gun. Where, oh, I, I didn't get it. Man, I didn't have a chance to. That's okay, we'll use good old three-way. Good old three-way. Look at all four robo-cannons in their majesty. I usually just go after anyone who is close to me, or they're attacking me. And always keep your other, like, your allies back, because if they all gang up on him, you don't want to just let him die. He is your lifeline, or she, depending on the battle. So look, they're all teaming up on Harry. Don't want that to happen. Pretty easy battle. I mean, you just fought them anyway. Probably all weak in the game's term. Almost dead, there he is. Time to attack green, and that was a lot of explosions. Double dance. <laughs> the, the dance fits Harry's personality pretty well. Access to the metal ape and the spider pod. Cool. And we're all just like, <gasps> oh, do you two have to be so so cute? Give me a break. We got our safety switches on, and they're going at it for real. This ain't a joke. Are you two okay? Huh? What are you doing here, Marsha? The chief is worried about you. He said that you weren't your normal self today. Great, great. Well, you've got perfect timing. It's all over. I see, but how did things get turned so ugly so quickly? That's what I'd like to know. Man, what a mess. I was washing my husband's clothes this morning, and I found a note in his coat pocket. There was a phone number on it. I didn't know what it was, so I called it, and a young lady answered. I was certain that my husband was cheating on me. But, honey, look at that face. I told you I just found that note out front this morning. I believe you. You'd never do anything like that. I'm sorry, I lost my temper. I'm sure it was only a prank. Really, who would have planted that thing out where you'd find it like that? Prank or no prank, I hope you're sorry. we are bruised up because of your stupid fight. Harry, please stop, there are children here and you're scaring them. Little Jimmy and Bobby Sue. You're right, I'm really sorry. Um, if it's alright, can I see that note you found? Here, we found it in front of our doorstep. Thank you very much, it looks like it was written by a girl. She has cute handwriting. Look at Marsha, finding the positives and everything. Q, let me see. I'll take this as evidence. Give me that, Marsha. Harry? Uh, it's, it's nothing. Can't let a helpless girl carry around a heavy load, you know. It's just a piece of paper. It's great everything worked out. But they look good together, and they lived happily ever after. Harry, are you alright? Oh, what do you mean? Just a second ago, you were furious, but now... 
Curious who, me? I made of love. Hey, Jake, you need to lighten up. Married couples have their reasons for things. You gotta give them slack. <laughs> Got it? Shut up. Are you scared? Your parents are fine now. Everything's alright. Listen to me when I'm talking. Come on, let's go play over there. Marsha. So you both want to be commanders when you grow up. How about a custom robo game? Sheesh. What's wrong? Surprised to see Marsha being nice to the kids? Uh, yeah, a little. Brothers and sisters probably remind her of her own childhood. You see, Marsha's parents passed away a few years ago. It was just her and her big brother. Her brother was an elite member of the police squad. Marsha got along with her brother real well. Her brother took good care of her. But one day, Marsha's brother up and quit the police squad without a word. And then he just disappeared. No one's seen him since. Then, not only did Marsha lose her parents, but she also lost her older brother. And now she's alone? Yeah, that sort of sums it up. I'm so sorry. I feel the same way. For a long time, Marsha's been gifted with a strange power. Because of that, she's always been the quiet type. She used to be a lot happier. And now she's lost her parents and her big brother. Shut out from the world and unable to reach out to anyone. She's gotten a lot better, though. The reason Marsha wants a Class A license is because she wants to join the police squad. You can't join the police squad unless you get a Class A license. She probably wants to track down some clues on her brother herself. Some backstory for you. Okay, let's head back to the office. Awesome, I got Trisha's number back. Hold on, it's the phone. Hello, Chief? Yes, Harry and Jake took care of it. Hurry up and head over to Bogey's Cafe. Marv's there. The one with the reward on his head? If we catch that Marv, we should get a big reward. If the police squad gets there before you, the reward's gone. Hurry up. Yes, I'll tell them. Can you hold on a second? Harry, Jake, the chief wants us to go to Bogey's. Seems like Marv's there. The guy with the reward on his head is at Bogey's, huh? What kind of a place is Bogey's? Just some cafe. I guess Ernest likes the atmosphere or something. Hmm? Just where did Ernest get that kind of information? Hold on, I'll ask. Hello, chief. Where'd you get that info? I saw him with my own two eyes! Huh? Um, if you're at the scene, then why don't you catch him yourself? J shut up! And I had a lot of coffee, my eyeballs were twitching, and I was busy. By the time I realized it was him, it was too late. I see. Harry, the chief said that he saw him at Bogey's with his own two eyes. Really? And so, what was Ernest doing hanging around the cafe while we were working our butts off here? I'll ask. Chief, why are you doing at Bogey's? Aren't you supposed to be working? I like my coffee, now get over there! He hung up and he yelled at me for no reason at all. Poor Marsha. We've been working hard all day and that good for nothing's been hanging around at the cafe. Let's go to Bogey's and fast. We have to catch that Marv. Okay, once we catch Marv and have the reward, I'll focus. I'll force Ernest to give us a bonus. Focus. Psh. And we better get a bonus. Look what we've been through. Splitting up another fight. This is Bogey's Cafe, and listen to the music. Huh, Harry and Marsha, what's going on? Oh great, not him. Harry, Harry, Harry. Still have the manners of a kindergartner, eh? I assume you're here for the notorious outlaw Marv. I'm sorry, but you're too late. Dark Blue, or more specifically, I, Evil, have already captured the rogue. Darn it, Dark Blue got the reward. But... How did you know that Marv was here? So, you want to learn my secrets? You hope to benefit from my wisdom, perhaps? Okay, I'll tell you. Bogey here officially requested the services of my little mercenary crew. Dark Blue to the rescue. What? Bogey, why? But you told us you always go to the Steel Hearts when you've got trouble. Well, your boss has been here all day sucking down coffee and... And what? And he was sitting in a dark corner all by himself writing poetry and occasionally weeping. How can I rely on you guys when your boss is such a space cadet? Poetry? I'd be worried too. 
<laughs> Young Ernest is a poet, and you didn't know it. Oh, this is too delicious. <laughs> hmm? Well, now, aren't you the kid who came in looking for a job with Dark Blue not too long ago? Of course, that's right. Your name's Jake. You, you applied at Dark Blue, too? Yeah, but I didn't make it. Well, of course not. You were a total amateur. Hiring you would be a totally idiotic risk. What is with your ceaseless blathering? Harry, are you saying you know Jake, too? Wait up! Don't tell me. Did Steelhearts hire this amateur? Oh, that is rich. Ha! Ha ha! Look at his cackle. Listen to it. And all those bouncy guys in the back. Sh shut your face! Jake has tons of talent, and someday he'll be an excellent commander. At least, that's what Linda says. Really? I don't know what gives you that impression, but I look forward to seeing if you're, if you're right. Ah, I've got an idea. I got a nice reward for catching that Marv chump. How about I get you a nice latte or something? Oh, wait a minute, I forgot. When you steal hearts to drink coffee, you start to wax poetic. I'm no art critic, but I know what, what I don't like, and I don't like poems. Not by any two-bit bounty hunters. Cackle, cackle. Bouncy people. Oh, yeah? Well, I've got a few verses for you right here. Oh, very witty, Harry. Have you ever considered a change of career, perhaps as a clown? Enough chit-chat, we're leaving now. Jake, if you do turn out to be a worthy commander, we'll make you an offer. Gotta love evil. Man, I hate that guy. Harry, let's go back to the office. We need to report this to the chief. Yeah, you're right. Great, we get to report back to our stupid chief that we lost our ward because of our stupid chief. Isn't that great? You should just love irony. Especially when you lose money. Back to Steel Hearts. Boom! What?! So let me get this straight. Not only do you not catch Mar, but you let Dark Blue nab the ransom? You know that's what, why everyone keeps making fun of us. If we'd got Mar, we'd have gotten a huge reward. So what in the world took you so... Heard any good poems lately? W what are you talking about? Bogey called in Dark Blue. Bogey said he didn't want to hire someone who'd rather write poems than catch felons. What? Uh-oh. Uh, er... Well, these things happen. Good work, everyone. Let's call it quits for today. Dismiss! He went off to go weep and write some more poetry in his closet. He got away. Again. Let's go home. Gotta call Trish. Gotta call Trish. Jake, what are you doing after this? I'm gonna hang around. I think I'll hang around a bit and then go home. Okay, just make sure you don't stay out too late. Get some rest. I'll see you tomorrow. See you guys later. Any new parts? Yeah, we got all the metal ape, vertical gun. Okay. Spider pod. Huh. What do we want to go to? And then going on at Hub Park. Nope, just random NPCs. How about bogeys? What's bogey got to say? Thanks for coming by. Next time something's up, I'll be sure to call Steel Hearts. I'm not really expecting much of anything to happen around here, so don't get your hopes up. Okay, bogey, okay. Ah, oh, you're back. Thanks for helping me today. I wonder if Walt and Carmen are doing okay. Oh, they're fine. I went to go check up on them, and they were getting along swimmingly. Yeah, that's good. Anyways, you guys at Steel Hearts are amazing. I'll call if I need your help. I know, maybe you can help out with the laundry. Um, maybe you need to hire a different band of mercenaries. We don't do laundry. Yeah, 